Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are going to be doing kind of a behind the scenes of the day I was canning chicken um, just to kind of show you what was going on in the background on that day. If you haven't seen that video of when I was canning chicken, um, go ahead and watch that one next. I think you'll probably find that one interesting as well. But this is the exact same day, just a different angle of my day. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video as well. And so while I'm canning chicken, there's a lot of waiting time, downtime, and things like that. But I do like to stay close to the kitchen. So this is a good opportunity to just get some things cleaned up. Um, just kind of staying you know, in the general area where I can keep an eye on my canner and things, but also get some things done around the house. So we're going to just kind of clean up this kind of the dining area, um, just starting off with sweeping, getting all the floors vacuumed, getting them nice and clean. And then I also wanted to go ahead and mop, but my day is definitely gonna be cut up, you know, with keeping ahead of the canner and that type of thing. So we're just, just gonna get them, get some things done as we can. Hopefully we can get a couple areas cleaned up. So you'll see me here and there um, doing things with my chicken um, or yeah, coming back from maybe filling a canner um, or yeah, that type of thing. But here I'm just filling up my canner and then we'll get back to work on the dining area. And if you have ever done any canning before, you know kind of how messy it can make your kitchen area especially. So it was nice to get this dining area all nice and cleaned and just have it fresh looking um, even though the kitchen area was still kind of in a mess. And Chloe wanted to help me just excuse her hair. I hadn't had it combed yet that morning, but we will get to that to that um, in just a little bit here as well. And now the dining room is nice and clean, the floors are washed, and it's looking a lot fresher than it was before. So now moving on to Chloe's hair, um, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple today. Again, just really quickly doing her hair, but getting it out of her face. All right, now we are moving on to um, this piece of furniture that came. I wanted to go ahead and get this put together. So this is an adorable little nightstand for Chloe's bedroom. We have been working on getting her room completely made over and I found this um, furniture 
off of Amazon actually. Um, I'll try to link it for you below. Now I warn you the reviews on this furniture isn't the greatest but I took a chance because um, it was so cute and I thought it would go perfectly with her bedroom. So far I don't have any complaints with these pieces at all. Um, I did get this piece as well as the matching six drawer dresser. And so now we're just going to get this put together. So this is how the little uh, side table came out and I can't wait to show you her room transformation. That one, that video will be coming soon here. And I'm going to go ahead and just make myself some raspberry, uh, red raspberry leaf tea. And I have the loose leaf tea right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a cup of that. And I actually usually drink it over ice, so I'm just brewing it here in the coffee cup, and then I'll go ahead and pour it over ice. Now moving on to some sewing, um, some dresses that I was working on. I'm working on one for myself right now, um, but I did finish a dress for Chloe um, later on in the afternoon. storage and got down this big tote of baby clothes um, specifically boy baby clothes uh, just things that I had stored away and I thought maybe I would go through it just kind of see what's in here um, yeah if I'm gonna use the stuff or if I just want to donate it I kind of want to see what I have and what I can use still and what I still need to get. So I'm gonna quick go through here and we're kinda of just gonna sort through things and see what we got. All right, so right on top of the box, I'm seeing some very tiny shoes. Um, I think actually Jameson wore these for a wedding. He was really tiny. They didn't stay on or anything, but it was still just kind of cute. He had a whole, like the whole suit outfit and he wore these little shoes. Um, yeah, who can resist these? But yeah, lots of little shoes here on top. Um, some little sandals. And some of this stuff, I'm not really sure why I kept. Um, some of these things are definitely things that you would want to change out for your next baby. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of why I wanted to go through here and just kind of sort through some things and see what we got. Um, also, um, the things that, that are in here that Jameson wore, he would have been more of a summer baby. So, um, that's also another reason why I'm not sure, you know, how much of this stuff I'll be able to use. Being this baby will be more of a winter baby, be cold. I remember him wearing this. This is a newborn size. Um,
here are a couple creamy sleepers that he actually wore. Um, he was this tiny. So there's definitely a lot of clothes in there, um, kind of divided some out. And so I'm seeing, yeah, just like I thought, a lot of summer clothes, especially in this like up to three months um, stage. So um, yeah, that kind of gives me an idea. Maybe if I yeah do do a little shopping for the baby, maybe stick with more winter. Um, try to get a few more winter items long sleeves, that type of thing, um, cozier outfits and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to um, put this pile yeah, somewhere where I can wash it and the pile to donate, put that away. And later on in the afternoon, it was pretty much as soon as we came back in from walking out of the driveway, we got a nice rain shower. We are very happy for the rain. We have needed rain. Um, so this was really nice to see. And then just on to some tasks that needed to be done. Uh, some laundry needed to be folded, so we're going to go ahead and get that done. So that is about the extent of my day as I was canning my chicken. So I hope you enjoyed um, watching. Here is the dress that I finished for Chloe. She was very excited for this dress as well. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye!